McHale who gets a catch. He's got patrol. Everybody and welcome to SCC Sports. We have a boys soccer here at Tartan High School for the Tartan Titans to take on the St. Thomas. It's a beautiful afternoon, 78 degrees outside. Couldn't ask for better weather, sunny. Couldn't be any soccer game tonight. Take a look at these those Metro East standings. It is St. Thomas Academy's first game of the year. They sit at three and one. Overall, lost to Hill Murray, so they are 0-1 sitting at the bottom. All right, well, let's get this game underway. Where Tartan will start it. Tartan's in the blue. Or Tartan's in the white. St. Thomas is in the blue. And the ball trickle out of bounds. So Tartan will take this corner kick. And a header will not go in, and St. Thomas will take over the ball. Or Tartan will take over the ball, excuse me. Goliath Sebastian Avila will kick this one in, and Tartan will have their first possession of the game. Tartan now has the ball at midfield. Emmanuel Bird with it. Now the ball goes over to number 10, Logan Davis. And a nice steal there by number eight for Tartan, Richard Fan. St. Thomas will throw the ball in. They'll work the ball on the far side of the field. The ball trickle out of bounds and give Tartan the ball now. Loses the ball in midfield. Now St. Thomas has it back and they're on the move. Ball go out once again, but this will be Tartan possession. Nice defense there by number seven, William Percy for Tartan High School. Ball once again goes out of bounds, and St. Thomas will maintain possession. St. Thomas throws it in to number nine. Nikita Zoltak, he works behind the net. Bounces off a defender and almost goes in the net. But Tartan will maintain possession. We'll see a corner kick here from number 11, Manuel Bird. Bird will kick this one in. 
gets it to the middle of the net. Header doesn't go for number four, Chase or Vernon Lovegreen, the senior attacker. And you'll see the replay right here. This is the one that almost went off the defender into the goal. So Tartan yet to get the ball on their side of the zone. Tartan maintains possession. Nice inbounds from Vernon Lovegreen into Emmanuel Bird. Bird gets it almost taken away by number 24, Joseph DiMartino. Tartan will work it on the near side. Gets it down up in the middle. Now it goes to DiMartino. He'll push it out to Richard Fan. Tartan yet to work any offense on the game. Tartan with possession now. They'll work it into the far side of the field, and they're streaking down. Ball comes to the near side. Casey Keller, or Vernon Lovegreen, tries to kick it in. Tartan maintains possession. Things getting a little aggressive there, and number 13 for St. Thomas, Jacob Matthews, will draw the penalty on that one. And there's Amon Bird for St. Thomas Academy. He has a goal or assist in every win uh, for the cadets. Let's see if Tartan can get some things going on the offensive side of the ball. Ball ricochets off of Logan Davis out of bounds. Tartan will maintain possession. St. Thomas and Manal with the ball. Bird has it. He kicks it out to the far side. Things are getting aggressive down there, but it looks like St. Thomas will maintain the ball. And there's kind of Dur Ekstrom, the attacker. He has two goals in a, in a three to one win over Fridley uh, a couple days ago. Tartan working the ball within the net. And it's good. Looks like that one is from number nine, Nikita Zoltok, the senior forward. Getting that one to go. Getting St. Thomas Academy a one to nothing lead. As Tartan cannot keep the ball out of their side of the field. So you'll see Tartan work the ball on the near side. Jacob, or St. Thomas work on the near side. Jacob Matthews hits it in to Zoltok, and Zoltok just kicks it in. So Tartan kicks the ball out of bounds, and Tartan will take possession once again. Now St. Thomas will throw the ball in. Connor Durr Ekstrom takes it down for Tartan. Devin McGill with a nice boot into midfield. Now you have Vernon Lovegreen who's got the ball on the near side. He kicks it to Jacob Matthews who looks to get it into Emmanuel Bird. Bird with a nice shove to get the possession back. And he kicks it off of Joseph DiMartino. DiMartino gets the boot up to midfield. St. Thomas hits that one back. Ball goes back to Devin McGill. He kicks it out to the far side of the field. And they'll work it back to the midfield. Out to the near side with William Guttery. Now the 
ball works to the far side. And it'll go out of bounds. It'll maintain St. Thomas Academy's ball. Nice throw in. Streaking down the sideline. St. Thomas has the ball at midfield. Now it goes to Bird right towards the net. He kick it in, and it's good. Right past goalie Sebastian Avila. Nice kick there by Bird. Two to nothing lead now for St. Thomas Academy as Tartan can just not get anything going on the on their side of the or on their offensive side of the ball. Let's check out the replay here. Bird does a little behind the leg kick and he just boots it right past the goalie. Nice score there. St. Thomas Academy once again with possession up two to nothing. Nice little give and go. It goes back to Vernon Lovegreen. He'll get it back in towards the middle. Oh, and Nikita Zoltak just was not there in the nick of time, but now we'll have a penalty. It'll be Tartan ball now. Let's see if they can get some offense going. Joseph DiMartino will boot this one in. He'll boot it out to midfield. Ball goes, goes, goes towards the St. Thomas Academy field, but they'll get the ball back. Devin McGill with a nice juke move. He kicks it out to the far side of the field. He'll work this one back into Emmanuel Bird. Tartan works its way back in the middle to Zabanakis. He gets it out on the near side to William Guttery. Guttery's got it again. He'll get it out to Jacob Matthews. Matthews works it on the underneath. He'll kick it in. Nice save by the goalie, the junior, Sebastian Avila. Tartan will look to get something going once again. Fortunately, once again, it goes out of bounds on Tartan. It'll be St. Thomas Academy, Academy ball. St. Thomas will throw it in. Zoltak has it now. Things are getting rough in the middle there. But St. Thomas will have it. Bird keeps it up top. He'll get it down to Zabanakis. Zabanakis kicks it out to the near side. Vernon Lovegreen. Looks like we're going to have an offsides penalty. But St. Thomas main t uh, gets possession back. Bird kicks it out to the far side. Zoltak takes it up top. He kicks it out near the sideline. Bird racing down the sideline, trying to maintain possession. He'll get it kicked out. It'll stay St. Thomas Academy ball. Bird will throw it into Zabanakis. He kicks it out to the far side. Ball's near the middle, a header off of St. Thomas Academy. Once again, Lovegreen will have it on the outside. He tries to work his way underneath. A nice header in there, and it'll go in another goal. Three to nothing now, and looks like that one was Devin McGill. Or excuse me, that was number 13, Jacob Matthews, the midfielder. As you'll see, Lovegreen will just kick this one in, and Matthews heads it in there for his first goal. St. Thomas now up three to nothing. Tartan needs to answer back if they want to stay this one or stay in this one in the first. Looks like we have a couple substitutions for Tartan looking to get anything going, get some fresh legs out there. 
for the number four seller, number 16 bell, and number 18 Bargenti. Brad Ethier will kick this one out of bounds for Tartan. St. Thomas will get possession. Guttery will throw it in. He gets it into Zoltak. Love Green kicks it towards the middle to a streaking player. Nice stop there by Avila. Avila will throw this one in. Nice boot to around midfield. Pagonski will take it now. Now St. Thomas has the ball back once again. They work it their way towards midfield. They'll work it back to Lovegreen. Lovegreen will kick it back out towards the top. Guttery will hit it into Matthews. Matthews gets it to Bird. Bird gets his way through the middle. Nice stop there by Joseph DiMartino to boot the ball down the field as it looked like St. Thomas Academy was working their way towards the net. And looks like St. Thomas Academy will take the ball out. Throws it into Bird. Bird works its way back. Out to Jacobs. Looks like that ball will go out of bounds. It'll be Tartan will take possession. Once again, St. Thomas Academy will get it back. Some aggressive play there between Richard Fan and Vernon Lovegreen. But Tartan will take possession now and they'll kick it down into the other side of the field. You'll see the jersey grab right there resulting in the penalty call on Lovegreen. Tartan works the ball up on the far side of the field. Looks like they'll get it out of bounds. Once again, St. Thomas will take possession. St. Thomas throws it into Bird. And it looks like Nikita Zoltak tried to work that way in towards the net. And Avila was there. Nothing going. He'll boot the ball down the field. St. Thomas with the header. It looks like Bird's going to work his way down the sideline. Looks like St. Thomas will keep possession and Love Green will throw it in. Works his way to Guttery. Guttery works it into Bird. St. Thomas will kick this one out of bounds and McGill will throw it in. Guttery, excuse me now. He throws it into Bird, who seems to be the go to on the throw ins. Bird gets it out to kill. He passes out to the far side. Goes off Tartan. It's cadet's possession. Once again, they try to throw it into Bird. Nothing going this time, but Bird will end up with the ball. Bird kicks it in towards the middle. A nice header there by the defense. Love Green has it on the near side. He'll kick it in towards the net, and this one will go wide. Tartan will take possession. Number 10, number 6, Raymond Fandel. Raymond Fandel come in the game for Tartan. DiMartino will kick this one towards midfield for the Titans. Once again, St. Thomas Academy is there for the header. Bird misses the header. But Jacobs is right there to work it in the middle of the field. Nice stop there on the goal attempt by Avila. Avila will kick this one down the field. Unfortunately, he'll kick it out of bounds, and St. Thomas Academy will maintain, will get the ball right back. 
And Tartan just can't get anything going offensively. Zoltak has it on the far side. He brings it towards the middle. He gets it to Jacobs. Jacobs getting swarmed in by the defense. Now it goes to Zoltak. Tartan will get the ball and then kick it out to the outside. Bird on the defense. Looks like it was stolen by Zabanakis. He got kicked it towards the net. Nice block by Avila right there. Keeping this game at three to nothing. You'll see the kick right here. Eventually one of these balls will, will hit Avila right in the face. I think you're about to see it right here. Right off the, right off the chest of Avila, nice block. Bird has it on the far side. He'll kick it in towards the middle. Nice aggressive play there by Avila. And the ball will go out of bounds. Tartan will take possession. But every time it seems to me that Tartan will kick it out towards midfield, St. Thomas just gets it right back. Let's see if they can get something going. And once again, that happens. St. Thomas works it on the far side. They kick it into the midfield to Bird, and it's kicked out by the Tartan defender. But St. Thomas will end up with the back. Love Green has it on the near side. He'll work his way towards the net. He'll kick it in there, tries to get it towards Bird. Tartan kicks it out towards midfield. Looks like we're gonna have a penalty here and Tartan will take over possession. As DiMartino will kick this one in. Nice booming kick to the far side of the field. It's now in St. Thomas. Unfortunately, nothing going. Just the second time the goalie for St. Thomas Academy has touched the ball. Nice boot in there by Brett Ethier. But Keller will take this one in. He'll kick it out towards the middle of the field. St. Thomas will take possession once again. They'll work it out. They got a streaking player. Bird's got it. Yeah, unfortunately, he'll lose possession. He gets it right back. Works his way on the far side underneath. He kicks it in towards the middle. Nice stop there by DiMartino. Tartan gets the ball at midfield. They'll work it on to the outside. scrum. St. Thomas will get it right back. St. Thomas works towards the middle of the field. They work it back just a little bit. Looks like they get the ball to Lovegreen who then gets it stolen. Looks like we're going to get a trip there by Lovegreen, his second penalty of the day. Martino once again with the free kick. He'll boom it down in there. Tartan will have the ball on the far side. Raymond Fan will kick this one back out. I don't know if you're Tartan, if you want to be kicking that far back, we can hardly get the ball on the St. Thomas side of the field. Ball goes out of bound. Tartan maintains possession. Looks like we'll have some substitution here for the Tartan side of the ball. Eighteen fifty-six left to go in the half. Brett Ethier will throw it in. He gets it into number seven, Will Percy, or number two, I'm sorry, Zhang Yang. Out goes to Raymond Fan. He'll kick it out to the near side of the field. And a ball will go out of bounds, and St. Thomas takes possession. Zach Keller. 
The few times he touched the ball, he'll kick it into the middle of the field. Bird has it midfield. He kicks it out to Zabinakis. Zabinakis kicks it out to the far side. Where Zoltak will get it. Now it's stolen by Tartan. Tartan will have the ball on the far side of the field. Ball go out of bounds. St. Thomas Academy ball now. Cadets will throw it in. It gets to Bird at around midfield. Bird will slow things down. Ball works its way backwards. Now it's on the near side. Guttery tries to get it to Love Green. That won't work. Tartan will take over the ball. Tartan takes over possession. Martino with a booming kick towards the goal. Unfortunately, he kicks it too hard and it goes out of bounds. The cadets will once again have possession as Tartan just can, they have, they have not had any shots on goal tonight so far. So Keller will kick this one in. Kicks a boomer towards midfield. St. Thomas will have possession on the far side. Bird has it midfield. He'll kick it back out. They got a player on the far side. He'll work it. He's got it on the underneath. Love Green's there on the near side. He'll kick it towards the net. Nothing going. Bird has it. He kicks it out to the far side. A header there by the defender. Love Green will get the ball down near the corner. Looks like that one will be out on Tartan. St. Thomas ball. Excuse me, looks like this will be Tartan's ball. Love Green uh, kind of flabbergasted by the call, nonetheless. DiMartino boots this one in, but Love Green will end up with the ball anyways. Looks like we're going to get a push in the back on St. Thomas. Tartan will take over possession. DiMartino, once again, will boot this one in as Tartan loves to see his booming leg. Let's see if he can get this one not past the goal this time. And St. Thomas will once again take possession. Love Green will have a chance at this one on the far or the near side of the field. Nice steal there by Brett Ethier. Ethier kicks it out, but St. Thomas gets the header towards midfield. Davis will take this one. He kicks it out. Love Green will have a chance at this ball. Nice sliding stop in the defense by Brett Ethier. That's what you like to see if you're the Tartan head coach. Tartan will take possession out on the corner. Love Green will kick this one out to Bird. Bird will work it on the near side. He kicks it towards the net. A couple headers won't go. It'll be Tartan's ball. For the cadet number 18, Isaac, six twenty-eight. And so far, Tartan has not had any offense going. They don't even have to or any resemblance of any ball movement on their on the Tartan side or on the St. Thomas side of the field. Di Martino kicked this ball in. Once again, St. Thomas Academy will take over possession. Has been the story of the whole game. Bird has it in the middle. He gets it out to Zoltak. Zoltak kicks it towards the net. Nice diving stop there by Di Martino. Ball works way towards the net. Guttery has it at the top. This one will go to Zabinakis. Back to Guttery. Nice defense there by Josh Gessen Jesse. Gas and Jackie got it. He'll work it on the near side, streaking down the field, and once again, St. Thomas defense is right there to stop him. 
Looks like we're gonna get a penalty on a LJ Tao. St. Thomas will take the ball. Wyatt Isaac will have it on the near side. He'll kick it down. Looks like this one will stay inbounds for Tartan. Casey Keller will have this one, the sophomore. And Avila will let DiMartino boot this one down the field, as that seems to be his expertise. He'll work his way out to Casey Keller on the near side. Ball stolen by Isaac Wyatt, or Wyatt Isaac. Back to Bird now for St. Thomas Academy. He's got it on the near side. Works his way out to Matthew Jacobs. Jacob Matthews. And once again, St. Thomas working on the far side of the field. Bird has it at the midfield. He's going to shoot that goal. Nice stop there by Avila once again. After letting three goals in early, Avila has been red hot ever since. Unfortunately, his offense can get nothing going. Bird takes the ball at midfield for St. Thomas. And that one will be kicked out by Logan Jones, the defenseman. Looks like the attackman Devin Boeing, the senior for St. Thomas, will come in. And they'll throw it into him. He works it on the far side. He'll kick it. And he'll hit off the defender. St. Thomas remains, uh, maintains possession. Emmanuel Bird will have the corner kick here. I'm sure he'll try to kick it towards the net, try to get a header in. This one will go out to Zabanakis. He'll kick it out towards the middle again. DiMartino is there. Looks like we're going to get a penalty on number 17, Chris Martin. Nice sportsmanship to pick up the... Uh, the fallen St. Thomas player. And Bird will have the corner kick here. I'm sure once again he'll try to kick it towards the far side of the field so his team that can get a header in here. He kicks it towards the tall Devin Boeing at midfield. Now it goes to number 18, Wyatt Isaac, and he'll kick it towards the corner of the net. Isaac with his first goal of the game. It's now four to nothing. St. Thomas Academy. You'll see here, Bird kicks this one in. It goes off of Boeing. Wyatt will end up with the ball, or Isaac will, and then he'll uh, kick it in the corner of the net. Nothing Avila could do on that one as he's, he was on the far side of the net, and Isaac kicks it on the near side. Four to nothing now as we've got goals from Zoltok, Bird, Matthews, and Isaac so far on the game. Tartan once again cannot get anything going on the offensive side of the ball, but they'll maintain possession. Let's see if they can work something here towards the goal. Ekstrom will throw it in. He'll get it into Elijah Tao. Josh Bell will kick this one away past the goal, not even close. So St. Thomas takes over possession. Once again, Tartan just not getting anything going today on the offensive side of the ball. Keller will kick this one out. St. Thomas will take over the ball. Tao has it on the far side. He'll kick it towards the St. Thomas defender. St. Thomas now has possession on the far side, and they'll work it down the field. Boeing will have it on the far side. He'll kick it out towards the middle, and the defense kicks it back out. Cadets will maintain the ball. About nine minutes left to go in here in the first half. Bird gets it thrown into him. He'll work his way on the far side, kick it towards the middle. St. Thomas 
getting nothing going. Tartan kicking it towards the middle. A little push off by a cadet, but no call. This one will go out of bounds. Tartan will have the ball. Tartan really needs to get something going here before the end of the half because you do not want to go down four to nothing going into halftime. Bird will have it at midfield. He'll lose possession. Looks like that one's going to go off of Tartan. St. Thomas will maintain possession. Nice boot right there by Brett Ethier. Unfortunately, it'll go back to the goalie, Keller. Keller kicked this one in for the cadets. He has a boomer towards the far side of the field. Cadets will kick it out of bounds, so Tartan will get possession. Tartan trying to show some signs of life here on offense. Unfortunately, they have not had any. Ball goes to Boeing for the cadets. He'll have it on the far side. Ball kick off a Tartan defender. Bird will have it at midfield on the far side. Ball almost goes out of bounds, and it does, and Tartan will take over possession. Tartan will throw the ball in. And once again, St. Thomas defense is there as they have been all game. Bird will kick it down to Boeing. Boeing has a lane. He'll kick it towards the net. Unfortunately, it's defended, and that one will go off. St. Thomas, Tartan gets the ball. Looks like we'll have an offsides penalty here. Now we'll have Del DiMartino to kick this ball in. And once again, he boots it. He'll kick it down towards the St. Thomas side of the field. St. Thomas kicks it out. Boeing will get the ball at midfield. Bird has it on the far side. He'll kick it out towards a streaking cadet. He's got a lane. Alvilo makes a nice grab before the cadet could grab the ball. So Tartan works it on the far side. Good defense by Tartan, or St. Thomas once again. Looks like we're gonna have a penalty on Tartan. St. Thomas takes over the ball. They'll work it towards the middle of the field. Bird has it up top now. Bird works it towards the goal. Cornea has it. Bell will kick it down for Tartan, but St. Thomas gets the ball again. But now they'll maintain it at midfield. Looks like Cornea will have the ball. Now it's stolen by Tartan, but kicked out of bounds by St. Thomas almost. Tartan boots it towards the cadet side of the field. Tartan working towards the top. And once again, it will be defended by St. Thomas. St. Thomas works the far sideline. Ball goes out of bounds, but they'll maintain possession. About 4.30 left to go in the first half. Four to nothing, St. Thomas Academy. Four different players all have goals tonight. Bird will work it to the far side. They'll kick it towards the middle. Boeing's got a chance at it. Kicked out by LJ Tau. Ball go out of bounds. St. Thomas will take over the ball. They'll throw it into Bird. Bird gets shoved to the ground by Tao. 
So St. Thomas will kick it where the ball is. Bird will work it up top. He work, gets it out to the far side. Work it down towards the corner, but he'll kick it out, out of bounds. Tartan will take over possession. Looks like we're going to have some substitutions here for Tartan, trying to get some new blood in here, get any offense going. Well, fortunately, they have not had any chance to score tonight. They've had yet to have a shot on goal. Down four to nothing with about 3.15 left to go. They need to get something going in order to keep themselves in the game. But it seems to me every time they throw in the ball, St. Thomas is right there to take it over. Bird will work it back out. Guttery has it on the far side. Nice stop there by Bell, or Ekstrom, forced the ball out of bounds. Unfortunately, the cadets will keep the ball. I'll throw it in. Ekstrom with a nice defense. Unfortunately, St. Thomas gets the ball right back. Zabanakis kicks it to Bird. Bird has it up top. He'll kick it out to the far side. He's got, a, he's got an offensive player. Unfortunately, he boots it just a little too hard. Had a streaking player. Tartan will take over possession. Tartan will work it on their side of the field on the far side. Stolen once again by St. Thomas by Boeing. Boeing tries to save it, and he does. He'll kick it out towards the net. Bird just misses that one. Isaac will kick it out towards the top. Zabanakis will have it. He kicks it out to McGill. McGill works it to the far side. Now they work it back over to the middle. St. Thomas kicks it at a defender, and they'll take over. But now St. Thomas will get it right back, as has been the story of the game. Tartan gets it out to Bell. Bell works his way down the field, but with the cadet defense is right there. They have a streaking Ekstrom down the field. They might get their first sh shot on goal. Ekstrom will boot it out of bounds, unfortunately. Tries to get it towards a streaking Tartan player. And the cadets will take over possession as Keller will kick this one out. One minute, remaining in the first half. one minute. One minute remaining left in the half. Keller will boot this one out towards the midfield. Looks like we're going to have a push in the back by Tartan. We'll have a free kick by the Cadets. Xander will kick this one out. He works it to the far side. Ball goes off Cornea, and he'll hit it out of bounds. Tartan throws it in, goes off a of St. Thomas player, and they'll maintain possession. Throw it in again, but unfortunately, this one is picked up by the goalie, Keller. About 15 seconds left in the half, they work the far side of the field. They'll get the ball, they try to work it towards Bird. Nothing going. Nice boot out there. Boeing will get the ball. About zero seconds left, and that'll be that'll be half with zero seconds left to go. Four to nothing to the St. Thomas Academy Cadets over Tartan High School. The Titans just getting nothing going in that first half with zero shots on goal that whole first half as well. So Tartan looks to answer back here in the second half, and we'll send it to break. I am a veteran, and my victory was finding the strength to be a champion. I am a veteran. My victory is having a job I can be proud of. America's veterans are on their most important tour, the tour of their lives. 
My victory was finishing my education. Mine is proving a disability is not a limitation. At DAV, we're on a mission to help veterans get the benefits they've earned. My victory is having my new battle buddy. As veterans face their challenges, DAV is there to help for victories great and small. I'm a veteran, and my victory is getting the help I needed to put my life back together. DAV offers veterans of all generations a lifetime of support. I am a veteran. My victory is being there for my family. When America's veterans win, we all win. Help us support more victories for veterans. Go to DAV.org. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to SCC Sports. John Miller here for you, where we have the Tartan Titans taking on the St. Thomas Cadets. St. Thomas out to a 4 to nothing lead. They have four different players with goals. Zoltok, Bird, Matthews, and Isaac with the goal apiece. Tartan did not have one shot on goal the whole first half, so they really need to get something going here in the second half in order to make this one a ball game. So we'll take you to the gameplay where... Boeing for St. Thomas will be out with the ball at midfield. Let's take a look at the upcoming schedule. St. Thomas Academy, they got a tough Hill Murray team on the 19th and a tough Matamidi team on the 21st. So tough schedules if they want to do anything in the Metro East. Once again, St. Thomas will have the ball. They'll work it out to their side of the field. Cornet has got it. The cadets will kick it downfield. It'll go out of bounds, and Tartan will take possession. Now DiMartino will kick this one in. St. Thomas has their goalie kick this one. And this, this seems to be the senior's defenseman's job is to just boot this one, but that's one less extra player out there to get the ball, and then I think that that shows for St. Thomas Academy is they've had possession most of the game. So Tartan will throw the ball in. Piercy will kick it out, but it's stolen by Davis. Matthews works it, he'll kick it out towards the middle where the cadet is fouled. So St. Thomas will take possession. Matthews will have the free kick coming up. Or excuse me, Davis. Header goes off the St. Thomas player. Nice stop by Avilo, he'll get it out to his players. Looks like we'll have a foul on Tartan. St. Thomas will have possession. Free kick, free kick coming up here for the cadets. They'll kick it towards the goal. Now they have it on the near side. Ball kicked out of, almost out of bounds by Tartan. Where Extra will have it. Tartan will throw the ball in. Spinks throws it towards Tau. Ekstrom will try to take it away, but once again, that St. Thomas defense is there. Murphy had it at midfield. It was taken away from him. Ball works its way back towards the St. Thomas side of the field. A penalty now. Tartan will maintain possession. DiMartino, once again, will use his booming leg to kick this one towards the goal. And there's Keller, once again, his still has yet to have a shot on him so far. He's only touched the ball a few times. 
as St. Thomas has played outstanding defense, keeping the ball away from Tart. Tartan will kick it out, but St. Thomas will have it. Keller will boot this one out towards midfield. Boeing will have it. He gets it kicked away from him. Boeing has an open lane. He'll get this one off his chest. He'll try to shoot it on goal. No, nope, no shot. Just bounced away from him a little too much. Ball kicked out by Tartan. St. Thomas ball. They'll throw it in. Davis had it. They'll kick it towards net. Boeing has a shot on goal. Nice stop by DiMartino. Or by Avila, excuse me. Avila will boot this one out towards midfield. Once again, St. Thomas defense right there. Ball almost hits the referee. A header from St. Thomas. They'll take possession at midfield. They'll kick it out to the far side. They'll work their way down the far sideline. And they'll kick this one in. Looks like that one just went right outside of the net as Avila was right there. So DiMartino will kick it out of their side of the field. DiMartino kicks it out. Tartan working their way down the far sideline. It'll go out of bounds. St. Thomas will take possession. Once again, Tartan just getting nothing going on the offensive side of the ball. They have not had numbers down there. And you'll see the kick here on the replay just on the outside of the net. Luckily for them as Avila went to the ground. And Boeing will have it on the far side and he'll kick it out, but that one was tipped. St. Thomas will maintain possession. They'll kick it out towards midfield. Shimmick is in there. And it looks like St. Thomas is playing some of their JV players in the second half. They'll work it out on the near side, kicked out of bounds by Tartan. Love Green will throw it in. The younger Love Green. They'll kick it towards the net. Just barely stopped by Avila. And he'll run out and grab it. Nice diving attempt there. He'll kick it out towards midfield. Once again, it's two of St. Thomas players. So St. Thomas will take over possession. This one kicked out to Guttery. Guttery works it on the far side. Cornea has it on the near side now. He'll work his way towards the middle. This one kicked out by Fan. Shimmick throws it in, or Lovegreen throws it in, excuse me. Now it's to Shimmick. DiMartino kicks it out. Some aggressive play there. Ball goes to Xander. Xander kicks it towards the near side. Now goes to Love Green. He kicks it downfield. This one will go out of bounds, and Tartan will take possession. Once again, Tartan with zero shots on goal tonight, playing a half in about almost eight minutes of the second half. Outstanding defense by St. Thomas Academy all night. They'll work their way down the field, but unfortunately it's right to a St. Thomas defender. They seem to just be at the right place at the right time at all times. St. Thomas will kick it out. Tartan will take the ball on the far side. Ethier will throw this one in. Goes off a St. Thomas player. Looking for Murphy, unfortunately he couldn't get it to him. And we'll repeat the same sequence. Ethier will throw it in. He gets it into Murphy. Good defense by St. Thomas, and they'll kick the ball out towards the top of the field. And they're working their way down the near sideline. 
Bowling will have it at the top. They got numbers. Cornea has an open lane, almost gets it in there, but nice stop by Avila before Cornea could even kick it in. You'll see this, he has an open lane towards the net and Avila just hustles out and grabs the ball. And now St. Thomas once again will have possession. Martino kicks it away from the St. Thomas player. I would not want that big boy kicking near my shins. <laughs> Boeing's got it, he works it on the outside. Cornell will boot this one towards the, the goal. It'll go out of bounds off a Tartan player. St. Thomas will corner kick this one in. Cadet Parker. Guttery kicks this one towards the net, kicked out or headed out by a Tartan player. Davis will throw this into Matthews. Goes out of bounds once again. Tartan will take possession as DiMartino will once again use that booming leg of his. Ball goes out to Piercy. Piercy works it on the near side. Piercy with some nice hustle there after St. Thomas gets the ball. Davis goes down for St. Thomas on the near side. He gets up though and hustles downfield. Tau kicks it downfield. Unfortunately, I think he kicked it a little too hard there. Nice tackle by the St. Thomas defenseman. So Tartan throws it in on the far side. And they'll work it over there. St. Thomas defense is right there to take the ball away once again. And Tartan has no answer. Boeing has an open lane, just him and the goalie. Looks like we'll have offsides, however. And Tartan will get the ball right back. Offside. So Boeing had an open lane towards the net. Unfortunately, the man is offsides. Is that easily could have made this one five to nothing as Avila was way out of the net going to contest him. D. Martino boots this one towards the net. Of course, the St. Thomas defense is right there. They work their way out to the top. They'll work their way down the far sideline now. This one will go to P Cornea, who gets it taken away from him. Some nifty moves there by Nicholas Spinks. But he kicks it right to the St. Thomas defense. Cadets work their way to the middle of the field, but they kick it out of bounds. Tartan will take possession on the far side corner. Martino will set him up for the kick to get him out of there. He hits this one to the far side of midfield. St. Thomas defenseman right there. We have a streaking Davis. He gets it taken away from him. Now it goes to Cornea. Avila misses it. On, luckily for him, it didn't go into the net. You'll see the replay right here. Cornea kicks it in. Davis hits it. He blocks it off of to Boeing. Boeing didn't expect it. So nice stop there by Avila. Looks like Boeing for the cadets will get called for a foul and Tartan will take possession. Still looking for their first shot on goal tonight. A putrid showing so far for the Tartan Titans on offense. But St. Thomas absolutely having a heck of a day on the defensive side of the ball. Swarming to everything. So once again, St. Thomas has the ball. They'll work their way up towards midfield. And that one will be kicked out by Tau. 
Folks, we always want to remind you to follow us on social media at facebook.com slash sccTV, as well as on Twitter and Instagram, or follow me at John SCCTV. We're always looking for posts for our social media montage on Sports Path. Uh, so go give us a like, share our pages, as well as you can always find our games and Sports Path and many things on our Suburban Community Channel's uh, YouTube channel. Uh, so always good stuff here as the ball goes over Avila's head. Fortunately, goes right past the goal. So Tartan will lose possession, and the cadets will have a free kick from the far side. They'll kick this one in towards the net. Boeing headed that one in. That one ends up going in. Didn't look like it went in its first because none of the cadets were excited, but Boeing just heads that one in there past the defender, past Brett Ethier for the Tartan Titans. And Boeing's really been all over the field ever since they subbed him in about halfway through the first half. So Boeing with his first goal and the tight, er, the cadets now have five different players with one goal tonight as they lead five to nothing. Now Tartan works it down to the far side of the field and once again, they don't do much with it. So the cadets will take over at about midfield on the far side. So you have to like what you're seeing right now. If you're head coach Noel Quinn for St. Thomas Academy, your offense has looked very good, but your defense has looked even better. Just swarming to it wherever it goes, never letting the Titans take a shot on goal. Whatever these guys are doing during practice is working during the game. And they're absolutely keeping Ekstrom silent. Ekstrom had two goals in a three to one win over Fridley in their last game. And he has yet to have a shot on goal today. And there's another goal for the cadets. Nice job by Boeing once again, getting his second goal of the night. And if you're the Titans, you have to feel defeated, as you'll see right here. Cornea kicks it towards a streaking Boeing, and he'll get his second goal of the game. Outstanding play right there by the cadets. They lead this one six to nothing. And I got to expect in the last 20 minutes or so, we'll see even more JV players enter the game. So Tartan will work it out. Kicking it down to the other side of the field. Ekstrom streaking down. With some nice hustle, but unfortunately I think that one will go out on Ekstrom. And the cadets will take over the ball once again. So still not one shot on goal for the Tartan Titans. Love Green throws it in. He gets it into Davis. Davis will kick it down. Unfortunately it'll go off Cornea. Now Yang. We'll throw this one in for the Titans. Looks like we got a couple substitutions in here for the Titans is number 15. Mario Carmona comes into the game and 17. John Kessengeki, sorry uh, for screwing up your name there, but it's a tough one. So once again, we'll have a penalty now. Looks like this one's gonna go on Ekstrom and the cadets will take over the ball once again. They'll work their way down the near side of the field, but they'll hit it out of bounds as that one goes off Cornea, who's been all over the field today. Tao will throw this one in, this one to Carmona, the player just substituted in. He'll get the ball out of bounds and he'll throw it in. Looking for Ekstrom, Ekstrom almost double teamed right there, nothing going. And once again, St. Thomas with some great defense. A boot by Austin Murphy downfield. Wound up with St. Thomas ball. This one kicked out of bounds by Tartan. 
So this one will be thrown in. Boeing will get a hit off, but it's still cadet ball. They throw it into Matthews. Matthews worked it to midfield. He hits this one to Lovegreen, or um, excuse me, Shimmick. Unfortunately, Davis will kick this one out. And Avila will kick this one towards midfield. Cornelia has it on the near side. Gets it taken away by Yang. Yang gets it taken away by the cadets. This one finally goes out to Lovegreen, who kick it out. Cornea saving it. Not out of bounds. Extra might have his first shot on goal tonight. First shot of goal, period, for the Titans. He's got it on the far side, or the near side. Good defense right there by the cadets. So Tao will be fouled by Davis, which will set up the free kick for the Titans. So Davis just with the coming in just a little too hot on Tao, and he'll pick up the foul. And we could see the first shot on goal right now for Ekstrom and for the Titans. What does he have to lose? Just kick it in the net here, Ekstrom. I don't even know if you can count that as an attempt on the net. That's how far wide it was. So still no shots on goal for the Titans. Keller finally touching the ball. He's only touched it a few times tonight. He'll kick this one out. Fan screaming, here we go, Titans, trying to keep their team alive, even though they're down six to nothing here with about 20 left to go in the game. Gersinji kicks it down the field. Ekstrom will try to chase it on the near side. He keeps it alive. Good hustle by Lovegreen, though, to stop him. So Tartan will take a corner kick here. Maybe they can get a shot on net. Carmano will hit it out towards the net. Nothing going. And Keller will take the ball and he'll kick it out towards midfield once again. Nice header there by Carmona. Fortunately, no Titans down there to get the ball. And the cadets will throw this one in. They'll work it out to Shimmick. Shimmick kicks it down. Matthews now has it as midfield. He's got a lane. He'll kick it out. Unfortunately, he had a player who stopped running. Davis, I think that was, had an open lane to the net. But he just stopped mid-sprint, and uh, unfortunately that ball now will go out of bounds. So the cadets throw it back in, but Tartan takes the ball back. Looks like we're gonna get a foul here on the cadets. And Tartan will take over the ball. Looks like that was actually on the Titans, so the Cadets will maintain possession. They'll have a free kick from their, for, from the uh, Titans side of the ball. Davis will kick this one in. Nice stop by Avila. And Zabanakis will have it at the, at the top. He kicks it out to Cornea. That one will go out of bounds, and the Tartan Titans will take over the ball. Right, 
Big Leg DiMartino, I think his new nickname is, is going to boot this one out towards the midfield. Nice header by Carmona. Fortunately, there are no Titan players there to get the ball. Boyne will hit it out to Cornea. Cornea gets back towards midfield. Nothing going. Schimmick will have the ball up top. He'll kick it down to Cornea. Cornea tries to work it out to Lovegreen, but Lovegreen had no chance of the ball. Yang will throw this one in for the Titans. Number nine, He'll throw it out to, attempt to throw it out to Tao, but nice defense there. Boeing with some aggressive defense on Carmona, but he just shoves Carmona to the ground like this is a football game. So the Titans will maintain possession. Big leg DiMartino will kick this one in. Nice header there by Jones. Once again, that cadet defense just is all over the field. No lanes, no nothing going for the Tartan Titans on offense. The Titans will kick it out to midfield. DiMartino will kick this one, but it goes straight up in the air. Garcinji is there. Titans will kick it down to the other side of the field. Header there by Ekstrom. Tao will have it. Now Zabanakis takes it back for the Cadets. He did have a lane, or Cornea had a lane if that ball got by, but unfortunately, didn't get it. Nice defense by DiMartino in order to keep his, have his team get the ball back. And Tao will just kick this ball out of bounds. So the St. Thomas Cadets up six to nothing. Boeing has two goals and then five other players have goals, as, or four other players have goals. So five players with six, six goals. Dylan Lovegreen will throw this one in. DiMartino there with the defense. Somehow Matthews just gets out of the out of the double team. And now he's working his way towards the net. It'll get stolen by Garcinji. Garcinji gets it out to Carmona. Tao will kick it out. Now Zabanakis has it for the cadets. Now it goes back to Boeing. Cornea has it in the corner. This one kicked out by the Titans. Now it'll go back. Love Green, who Love Green will have it in the corner. Makes a nice little move. He's got a couple guys in the middle here. And there's another goal. This time it's number 13, Jacob Matthews. Matthews with his second goal of the game. It's now 7-0 Titans. Just an absolute dominating game by the St. Thomas Academy Cadets. There it is. Everybody's happy. They're giving high fives. Let's rewind it just a little bit for you guys. Nope, we will not. Let's now get you guys the replay. You'll see Matthew just kicking it right by Avila. Nice goal, so St. Thomas just putting on a clinic, making this look like summer camp against Tartan High School. Love Green will throw this one in. He's got a man. This one goes back to Matthews. Matthews has a shot on goal. And there's another one as Cornea gets the rebound and all the, all the Titan players were on the ground in front of the net and he just kicks it right to the top. Beautiful goal. Cornea gets his first one and it's eight to nothing. Yeah, you'll see Matthews, he kicks it in. All the defenders slide to stop that one, and Cornea just gets the rebound, kicks it to the top of the net. Nothing you can do about that one. Eight to nothing now for the cadets. 
with 13.48 to go. And I'm not too sure on what running clock is, but you got to imagine it would start soon. Now, the Titans yet to get anything going on their offensive side of the ball. Maybe they can find some things to build on here. You know, down eight to nothing, just work on some things, some offensive plays. But, you know, they got to have the ball on offense to score some goals and have some positive things to look forward to for the next game. So Sar Tartan will take on Henry Sibley on the 14th in their next game. I think they actually had just had a shot on goal. I think that was the first one. Kelly makes the stop. He throws it out to Cornea. Cornea tries to get it out to Boeing. DiMartino's there. He'll boot it out. Cornea heads this one down the field. And I think Boeing's going to have a lane here. He beats DiMartino. DiMartino's not the fastest. And then once again, I think that'll be a foul on Boeing. He's absolutely aggressive, but that has worked well for him uh, at times tonight. And let's look at that. Tartan upcoming schedule. Now they play Henry Sibley, and then they play Matamidi on the 26th. So they have a tough schedule coming up. North St. Paul, no slouch, but North St. Paul losing player, Star Tribune Player of the Year out to Claremont last year, so they're having a rough go to start. As well as Boos gets Judy. Both of those players went back to Haiti for unknown reasons, as North St. Paul doesn't want to talk about it, but it's definitely a hot topic is that they were projected to be one of the best teams in the state this year. So Tartan will take possession down on the near side corner on their side of the field. And don't really know where that pass was going, but it wasn't a good one, so the cadets will take over the ball. Love Green will throw this one in, and I think you'll get this one to Boeing. Boeing will take the ball, and Tartan will take it away from him. Folks, let's just highlight one thing here. Amon Bird has not played since uh, about 10 minutes left to go on the first half. He's their leading point scorer so far this year with seven. He did have a golden night. And then he was taken out. That's how much Tartan was, or St. Thomas was up early. So the cadets sprinkling in some JV players in order to get them some playing time. As this cadet team looks very good to start the season. The cadets are three and one so far this year. Losing only two. St. Paul Highland Park at home on their first game of the year, so you had to expect they're rusty. But they did beat St. Paul Academy and St. Paul Humboldt and Holy Angels. They got a tough Hill Murray team on the 19th and then the 21st against Matamidi. Matamidi always has a good soccer team. Uh, as we were talking about North St. Paul on the 28th. So you know, I expect the St. Thomas team to win most of their schedule. Maybe make a decent run in the sections. This Tartan team, I'm not too sure where you go from here. It's just, there's Bird on the bench. Yeah, come on, Bird. Heck of a player for the Cadets. So Tartan's upcoming schedule, they play uh, Hastings, and then, as I said, Matamidi on the 26th, and on the 30th, they play Crystal Ray Jesuit at home. Uh, not really sure who that is, but probably a lower class team, a smaller school who they should easily beat. And then they play South St. Paul and North St. Paul to end the year. So tough sledding for the Titans if they want to get anything going in this Metro East Conference. So Amon Bird has had a goal or assist in every win this season coming into this game, and it's going to stay that yeah. way after this game as well. This cadet team looks very deep. Boeing didn't even play most of the first half, and he's came in. And he's gotten two goals. He's been all over the field. Got the Love Green brothers. Zabanakis has looked well in the middle of the field, playing great defense.
Cornell have a lane down the field. And Avila makes a mistake coming way out of the net. He had no chance at that one, and Cornea just kicks it right past him. Don't really know what Avila was doing, but he was all the way towards the near side of the field. As you can see, Cornea has a lane, and he's at the near side of the field, and Avila comes out towards him. I think that's a Avila just a junior. That's definitely a junior mistake. You let the player come to you instead of running all the way out towards the sideline. That's something you rarely ever see. So that's another goal. Nine to nothing now, the Cadets. And we've had maybe one shot on goal against St. Thomas. Uh, Tartan just getting nothing going. I mean, the, the shot on goal, I mean, that's up in the air. It was kind of a high kick that just landed right in the goalie's arms. So Cornell will work his way down the near side of the field, and Boeing's got it. He's got a lane. He's got just one defender to beat. I think he should have kicked it right there, but he'll try to do what he can. He kicks it towards the top of the net, and he'll land up there towards the goal post. Avila will kick this one out. This Titan team just looking absolutely defeated out on the field. Not hustling at all. Definitely not what you like to see if you're coach Josh Windorf. D. Martino, the senior defenseman, he's been getting beat a lot tonight. around the goal most of the time, and I think that kind of hinders your defense a little bit when you have one player who just kind of remains in a 20-yard radius and can't really play any defense, but he's your main defenseman, but he seems to be really only good at kicking the ball really down the field. So Cornell will have it down on the far or the near side of the field. He'll work it past the defender. Avila will come out and grab it after that one seemed to reflect off the Tartan defender. And Avila kicks this one out towards midfield. And the cadets will work it down the near side, and Avila comes out and makes a nice stop. Very gutsy. But what does he have to lose down nine to nothing? The cadets will work it out towards the near side of the field, but this one goes out of bounds. And the Titans will take over. So about six minutes left to go here in the second half. And I don't think this one can end any sooner for the Tartan Titans. They are down nine to nothing. Tartan will likely fall to 0-2 in the conference, 3-3 three three overall. St. Thomas Academy will move to 4-1, 1-0 in the conference, which will put them up near the top of the standings with North St. Paul, Hill Murray, and South St. Paul, and Matamidi. All 1-0 so far. We'll likely have conference games this week as well. And Matamidi 5-0 overall. Looking very good to start the year. Matamidi always has good sports teams. Same with uh, Hill Murray. Uh, Hastings at the bottom, so it's likely that Tartan, depending on what Hastings is doing uh, this week, will be at the bottom of the Metro East standings, but it's still early in the year. Still times to get things right. But if you're Coach Wendorf, you gotta go back and look at the film of this game and see what you did wrong. And I think most, most of it is you got nothing going on offense. And, one shot on goal is not going to win you the game. I mean, you got to look at how St. Thomas Academy played defense and how they just shut the Titans down and how they can do it better on offense because whatever they did today, just not working. And there's the Cadets working the ball towards the middle of the field again, towards the goal, but the ball go out of bounds, and it just seems like 
the Titans can't even, even get a pass midfield today. I mean, it's just, uh, like I said, I think I see more, yeah, more hustle out of that little kid than we're seeing out of the Titans so far tonight. Always good to see kids get on, on the action. He'll be on varsity before you know it. So Keller finally touches the ball. The goalie for the Cadets. And you can hear Coach, uh, Coach Quinn for St. Thomas still just amped up on the sidelines knowing his team has played well. But you can also hear Coach Windorf telling his team to maintain the hustle. But Cornea has this one towards the net. Boeing just hits it out wide open. Boeing in front of the net. Boeing with his third goal of the game. 10 to nothing now. St. Thomas Academy. You look at this one. Cornea just has it. He draws in the defense. And Boeing is right there in front of the net just for an easy tap in. His third goal of the game. And that should put him near the top of the team in points. Yeah, Boeing coming in the year with actually zero points overall. So put three up there for him. About 3.25 left to go here in the half until this one's over. Like I said earlier, I don't think this could come any sooner for the Tartan Titans as they're going to go back into the locker room and wonder what happened tonight. Just nothing going from the get-go. We kick towards the net. That's the closest Tartan's been to a goal all night, but they'll kick it down the field. Boeing's fast. He's got one defender to beat. He'll hit it off his head. He'll maintain possession, and he'll work it on the far side of the field. They try to kick it back out to Boeing. See if that one will stay in on the far side. Good defense once again by St. Thomas. Number 21, Matt Brown, the sophomore. Looks like uh, Tartan is starting to sprinkle in some of the younger players here. Lots of playing tonight for Devin Boeing, the attackman. He came in and Bird went down. And ever since, he's been playing all game. I think they want to keep Bird's legs fresh for the upcoming Metro East schedule against, you know, Henry Sibley. Henry Sibley is one and three on the year. So not much. No, they're even worse than Tartan so far. Next Metro game after that is Hastings. And then Simley, the next decent matchup they have is against Matamidi, who, who will be a tough matchup for Tartan. St. Thomas, the next Metro game they have is Hastings coming up. And there's a great hustle by that little kid once again. This kid's just all over the field. Get this guy a jersey. Put him out there for Tartan. He's got the ball in the corner. You can see him back there. Nice kick by Avila towards the middle. And about a minute 25 left, so Tartan will go three and three. St. Thomas will go four and one, one and oh in conference. Ahmad Bird will keep his goal or assist in every win this season. So now he'll have a goal or assist in four games this year so far. Connor Dirk, uh, Dur Ekstrom, the senior attacker for the Titans, just getting nothing going today. He's their leading scorer on the year. Uh, you know, I just don't really know what to do if you're Tartan from here, but St. Thomas upcoming schedule. They play Hastings. Next uh, interconference game after that, that might be competitive, is Hill Murray and then Matamidi. Back to back tough games coming up for them on the 19th and 21st of next week. And then they seem to have a really easy schedule the rest of the way to go with some bottom feeders uh, of the Metro East. So this team should be very competitive going ahead. Clock ticking down here with about 20 seconds left. Five seconds left to go. Four, three, two, one. 
And that'll end her score of 10 to nothing. St. Thomas Academy. Lots of players with goals tonight. Boeing with three, Matthews with two. The Tartan Titans will go three and three. St. Thomas Academy will go four and one, one and zero oh in conference. So a good way to start the year in the Metro East. Uh, Bird had a goal as well. And that's it here at SEC Sports. I'd like to thank you all for watching this game here on September 12th on a lovely evening. And that'll be the end of the game. For John Miller, I'm out of here.